Now, if you own a ThinkPad, or any laptop for that matter, you might assume, or you might imagine that running on Linux, you don't need to change anything. You install the operating system, say like Arch here, and everything just works, just works like perfect. And probably for the most part, that's true. But um, what you might not be aware of, and I don't really hear people talking about it, is that Arch Wiki, what I'm looking at here, has dedicated pages to ThinkPads and, and to laptops in general, to be honest. But uh, we're obviously going to focus on ThinkPads because this is a ThinkPad. You focus on what your laptop is. But this is like um, like a tips, tricks, and I don't know, best practices, guides to get the best out of your ThinkPad or your laptop, whatever you're using. Right. Um, so, well, let's just have a look. So, if you go on the Arch Linux um, web page, I'll put all the links in the description. Um, and, well, first of all, this is like a laptop landing page, right? So, you've got all these different Lenovo ThinkPads, um, or if you go onto the categories for laptops, you've got all these different brands. So you could go to, um, this makes it a bit bigger. So you could go down to Lenovo or ThinkPads. Uh, where is it? Look for L, look for L, laptop. Okay, not there. There we go, Lenovo. So it'll take you there. Um, you can just search in the wiki and uh, just put in ThinkPad. So I've got an X201, hit enter, and there we go, it's a link. And so that takes me to the X201, which I'm running here. Um, and so just have a look. Some of it might be useful, some of it might not. But this is, this is like a little, little special source you can put on your laptop just to get it perfect. So, for example... Uh, they give a little summary, it's a dual core, sub notebook, whatever. Uh, backlight, so you can set a kernel parameter. I'm obviously not going to do this in this video because setting a kernel parameter is its whole own video, whatever. So we're not going to do that. But if I wanted, I've never had any problems with the video. I think this is uh, for the backlight, so I think if you're, you need to set um, video as like a user and then as a user you can control the backlight and also for if you're outputting video in the frame buffer I believe whatever you can look all this stuff up for your own one um, there we go and this, this is always good troubleshooting so overheating now my th other ThinkPad my main ThinkPad I have recently thermal pasted it and I have um, cleaned out a lot of dust. Um, I was going to make a video on it, but it was the first time I was a virgin on thermal pasting a ThinkPad, and I was a bit like that. So I didn't record it because it would have taken forever and it wouldn't have been, it would have been even less exciting a video than this. Okay, well this is good for you. This is a good video for you. So, um, so there you go. You've got overheating issues. So, yeah, that one did overheat a bit, particularly on YouTube, I think, funny enough, playing certain videos. And I think the biggest problem actually was the battery. So it's got a big battery in it. A battery overheats, and it's close to the CPU. And the dust, the dust. Did I really need to thermal paste it? Well, you should do it every so often. So maybe another video I'll do uh, thermal paste this one. This is my testing, obviously. Oh, my videos are becoming so sedate and, and lovely, aren't they? So calm and relaxed. Okay. Right, concentrate. So, um, there you go. You've got the ThinkFan utility, which is in the AUR. So, if you were gonna, if I was going to install this, maybe I should install it. Uh, so, make sure your packages are up to date. EA will update whatever, all the packages. Um, whatever. Whatever. So, I think it works. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll spell it right first. 
I don't know why I'm doing this, I've gone way off tangent, but no, this is important. We'll install it. Um, oh, okay, it's a load of QT stuff. There you go, see, back to normal my videos, complete chaos. You come for the chaos, I know you do, and for the ThinkPad, but whatever. So I'll just install these stupidly big packages. I'm sorry, I am going to go on a little rant. These things, these desktop environment, which uh, QT six stuff. I know it's got to be a, a reasonable size, but it's like installing the whole kernel. I mean, I don't know. I just personally, I just think these packages are way too big. This the TTY is just whatever. Okay, so right, let's let's uh, update. Yay. Okay, nothing to do, fine. Um, so let's do yay, s, and it's, I guess it's just called think fan. Now you'd have thought I would have done this already, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? But, I don't know. Uh, remove dependencies. Whatever. Okay, install this. God, it's a lot of stuff, isn't it? This for the fan utility. But, hey, it, I should really set it. I don't really have a problem. This this hasn't overheated because I'm using this small battery here that kind of I'm a bit worried doesn't really work as well as it should. Anyway, um, I hope this isn't going to take long. Is it actually compiling it? Okay, we are going to resize this, resize this, and carry on. Ooh, don't want to do that. So there you go. You can once that's done you can set a configuration so the fans spin. so this is good stuff right this is good stuff this is going to protect your thinkpad from overheating damaging it in the long term um you've got some other stuff here so no speaker output if you have issues with speakers uh acpi events which again is a bit like kernel parameters display issues so again another kernel parameter um in theory i should recommend it to add the following because i'm using this ThinkPad X201, and obviously I use um, virtual desktop stuff for my videos, so I should be setting that. Should be setting that. I don't know. I I don't really care. I don't really care. But it's great. It's good to know this stuff. Hey, look, I've, I'm installing ThinkFan. Give me a break. Okay, there we go. ThinkFan is installed. I think you can like run ThinkFan and play with the things. Just be careful with obviously running the fan it sounds ironic but um i have i will have a video in the future where i don't actually run think fan i run the actual mod i think i mod probe which is like putting a kernel parameter whatever all this stuff i can't remember exactly we'll go into it in another video. i actually put in the i actually load the module and take control of the module in real time in the user space and i adjust the fan speeds when i want um, that was also because of the overheating, but I thought it was kind of cool. I made a little scripted little thing, you know, it's all in that TTYSH. It's mwah, beautiful, beautiful. We'll go into that in the future. We don't need to worry about that now. So there you go. Oh, and on the right, you got like um, a little table here. So the hardware touchpad, puh, touchpad, puh, disgusting. Is it working? Well, mine's not because I've disabled it. It's <sighs> awful. Keypad, keyboard, keyboard, keyboard is working yet. GPU is working. Well, I hope so. I think it's got a little GPU webcam, uh, whatever. Ethernet. I don't. Yeah, Ethernet is obviously your Ethernet. Bluetooth. <laughs> you don't use Bluetooth on a ThinkPad. Well, okay, maybe you do. Uh, card reader. Yeah, that's where I get my video uh, downloaded from the cameras. Whatever. Audio, of course. Wireless. Okay, so. That's telling you. I mean, if I like put in, uh, so if I search, this is the best ThinkPad, arguably the X two hundred, the X two hundred. Um, so the model below this. Um, whoa! Look at all this firmware. Firmware. Whoa! Interesting. So some stuff's not quite working. TPM. Uh, okay. Of course, you've got Core Boot, Libre Boot. So if you've got if you've got an X200, congratulations. Um, so yeah, you've got all this stuff here. Well, there's a lot of stuff for the X200. Was, a, was it and is still a popular laptop. 
Um, so there you go. And also you've got this stuff here at the bottom. You've got extra links. They're always very good with... I know I've got my own issues with the Arch Wiki about things, but they're very good. They give you lots of links at the bottom, which I guess where they get some of their stuff from. Um, so, uh, so if I go back... Um, so here you go. You've got a web page called... This is another one. I'll put in the description Think Wiki. Uh, brilliant, brilliant... Um, page it's got loads of stuff related to thinkpads obviously just just look for it i'm not even gonna not even gonna begin on here but again you know i don't know track point because we we used a track point on this channel the track point not the trackpad okay we're back to our best now back to our best so yeah, you got all this kind of stuff blimey i mean i like a track point but i don't love them that much but you might so have a look at that uh, and then you've got like a, yeah again like a general this is probably a good page general laptop uh, information so um, again I'll just put all these links in you can search all this stuff power management battery state ACPI again blah 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 a lot of stuff here if you want to test your configurations get them as perfect as possible I'll, I'll be honest I think the Linux kernel's got probably most of the stuff down pretty good but you know this we're all about getting stuff right like I've said it do, doesn't really matter I don't really care enough to make things absolutely perfect however for the things that do matter it's nice to configure them how you like but I'm I'm a default options guy I know kind of boring vanilla whatever but only for the right reasons if it's right and I don't have to load a load of extra stuff to slow it down anyway um, that's great and you know I don't want a load of I want uniformity if I go to somebody else's computer I mean they're not gonna be running this I mean but I want uniformity I want to know if I just need to use the defaults defaults will work and defaults on Linux are pretty good oh, this is a broad subject on what I'm using Vim or whatever okay Vim not always but they're pretty good so you can get into the weeds you can get into the in-depth as much as you want but it's there is something to be said for most of this stuff's fine but there you go obviously I'm doing configuration this I am doing some configuration but I think some people just like doing it for the sake of it it's just fine it's a learning experience and but anyway I like building my own little modules into one big module like that program I made TTYSH and you know I keep teasing it I know it's not that great but it's pretty good and I like using bash and shell to make my own my own things you know kernel does pretty much what you need arch does what you need and then I like to craft my own little things uh, as and when I need it in the TTY or whatever that's why I like making my own little my own special flavors and sauce sounds so weird saying that but I don't know so is there anything else to say so you know the arch wiki is pretty great pretty good for this kind of stuff um just gives you some hints hints that's what I was thinking of earlier hints trips hints tips and tricks <sighs> sounds so American doesn't it anyway to our American friends don't worry I still love you um that's just Let's just end this video here. This is, I dragged this out. I'm dragging this out. Dragging this out. And if you made it this far, congratulations. Do your usual YouTube fake stuff. Like, comment, subscribe. Not even do the stupid voices because whatever. 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 Linux community. Right. That's it.